A special morning coming up is highlighting the importance of female leaders in our world. The Women in Leadership Breakfast is happening on October 18th, and it's put on by the Seattle Sports Commission. And here to tell us more is Mara Moat. Hello. Hello, good morning. Nice to see you, thanks for having me here. Oh my gosh, such a pleasure. So why is this event happening? Why is it important? Yes, so I'm Mara, Sports Commission, Head of Content Marketing. I produce the Women in Leadership Breakfast, one of the Sports Commission's signature events. And this is our 12th year of the breakfast. Already and 12 years. Yes, and I've been producing it for seven. And it's such a special event. It's a morning of inspiration, motivation, connection to community. And uh, it's become a Seattle favorite professional development event. And it's meant to invite everyone into these important conversations about fostering diverse leadership. And what can people expect when they go to this breakfast? Obviously, a delicious breakfast, yes. I'm sure. Breakfast will be a thing. <laughs> it um, will be served. Yes. We have main stage programming, and I'm really excited that Joyce Taylor, King 5 anchor, is returning as program host again Iconic. this year. Yes. And we'll feature three panel sessions and a keynote discussion. Uh, every year, we try and focus on a different topic, whether it's investing in equity, economic equity, sending the ladder back down, finding and using your leadership voice. This year's theme is turning moments into momentum and we're gonna help identify and leverage opportunities that create pathways to success. So with those panel sessions, we're gonna have executives across business and sports, and they're gonna be talking about things like why women's sports isn't just having a moment, and how the oh, business that's, case. I love that. Yeah, yes. and so it's a business case for investing in women's sports and how that applies to the boardroom and the workplace. We're gonna talk about the influence gap, so just an example, an everyday innocuous example, say I get into a taxi cab with my male colleague and the cab driver looks to the, my colleague and says, where are we going today, sir? The end of the ride, the cab driver looks to my male colleague and says, mm -hmm. it's gonna cost this much. Yep. I'm a fully capable human <laughs> being, I could do all I these exist. things. Yes. yes, and so we're gonna talk about the influence gap and our perceived uh, perceptions of what does an authority figure, what does a leader look like? And uh, if you have had your authority redirected away from you in the boardroom or in your everyday circumstances, how can you reclaim your leadership voice and what's a toolkit that you can use uh, to, to, be, to navigate those situations and also to address our own biases when we're enacting that on other people. So we're gonna be talking about some heavy topics, have a lot of takeaways as the goal and it's a space where we invite people to, to challenge themselves and to grow. So it's bringing your team for your team building. So bring your colleagues, uh, invite your mentor, bring a young professional, small businesses, if you wanna all get together and grab a table, come in and have those conversations. So we've got that programming, which is really phenomenal, but then we've got a networking space for some fun professional development outside before and after the event. That's so amazing. It sounds like such a great networking event. And so if people are debating going, how can they go? Are there still tickets? How can people get involved? Yes, thank you for asking. That's the You're whole very point welcome. today. <laughs> so we have tickets available for in-person, which we encourage you to join in person. There's something special that happens in that space when you're convening with your community like that. Uh, tickets are available at seattlesports.org for tables, for tickets. We're gonna start closing sales uh, around October 11th. So we just have a few weeks left to, to get in there. We also have a virtual option. So if you have a barrier of entry to get you to the physical space at the Sheraton on Friday, October 18th, you can join us for the, the onstage programming component virtually. That is so amazing. And like I said, I just feel like it's gonna be such a great opportunity for people to get inspired to have a fabulous networking event and to learn more. I mean, 12 years, congratulations on that. That's yes. huge. Thank you. And I feel honored to, to be working on an event like this. Uh, the Sports Commission tries really hard to create a space where you can have the uncomfortable conversations and you can grow and get a new headshot. So there are those opportunities like Boom. snap a new headshot, shop local businesses at our Intentionalist Marketplace. So we've got a pop-up of women-owned and BIPOC-owned businesses that are gonna be there. Grab a mimosa, start a conversation. Uh, we're gonna have Seattle Storm and Seattle Rain are gonna be there. So there's a ton of stuff that you can do on top of the programming. Thank you so much. And just a reminder, the Seattle Sports Commission Women in Breakfast is happening Friday, October 18th. 